This is the second part uh, of the music. I call it Weapon of the Cursed Devil. <coughs> they don't continue, so don't worry if you ever miss part one. Allama Ibn al Qayyum al Jawzi, a 14th century scholar, narrates a dialogue between the Cursed Devil and Allah Almighty. When the Cursed Devil was evicted from paradise, he complained to Allah, I have been evicted from paradise and it is going to be my task to make, to make human life on earth a mission impossible. I'm going to make sure that it holds the joy right to hell. That is my mission, but I will need some tools for that. So the following dialogue took place. The devil asked, where will I go? Allah answered, places of nudity, beaches, toilets, public baths. He says, where will I sit and spend my time? The streets, town, town center, shopping center. He said, what will be my food? Every haram food, any uh, animal slaughtered against the sharia. What will be my drink? Every intoxicant. He says, what will be my Quran? Music. Who will be the caller of, of my prayer? Who will be my caller of prayer? The musician. What will be my speech? Lies. There are few main ways music can affect us. The direct words of the music played normally are the actions carried out by the musicians. Backmasking and backtracking and the musical instrument. Inshallah, we will analyze each one in detail. The actual wordings. Okay. Madonna, we all know Madonna is. She's a very famous singer known today as the queen of pop, actress, and now a Kabbalist. And Kabbalah, Kabbalah is the worst type of magic practice today in the world. Like her, many other famous singers and actresses have adopted the way of Kabbalah. And a lot of them wear the red string. They wear this red string on the hand. So they're saying here that Kabbalah, it will string you along. <coughs> one of her famous songs, Papa Don't Preach, is a very old one. We're going to analyze her words. So she says, Papa, I know you're going to be upset. And that says me, upset about what unless you've done something wrong. Okay. Because I, well, I always, I was always your little girl. So what changed you being the little girl? But you should know by now, I'm not a baby. Who said anything about you being a baby? You always taught me right from wrong. I need your help, daddy, please be strong. So the father did good by teaching her right and wrong. But why should he be strong now? I may be young at heart, but I know what I'm saying. So she is young. She knows who she's saying, to whom? To us. And the song starts, the one you warned me all about, the one you said I should not do without. So she was not only warned about it, but she was also told she could do without it. We are in an awful mess, and I don't mean maybe, please, and then the chorus begins. What mess? Who is we? And the chorus goes, Papa, don't preach. Papa, I'm in trouble deep. Papa, don't preach. I've been losing sleep. <coughs> is the father a preacher? What trouble? Why are, you losing, why are you losing sleep? So the father still hasn't understand what she's trying to say. But I've made up my mind, I'm keeping my baby, I'm, oh, I'm going to keep my baby. So you're pregnant and made up your mind. Um, so what's the point of asking the father for advice? Anyway, the song goes on. He says that he's going to marry me. He says, but will he? We can raise a little family, maybe we'll be all right, it's a sacrifice. What sacrifice? But my friends keep telling me, to give it up, saying I'm too young, I ought to leave it up. What I need right now is some good advice, and please. So why are your friends saying you should give it up, and that you are too young? Why didn't you tell them that you're not a baby? After all this, honestly, what good advice does she want? Daddy, daddy, if you could only see just how good he's been treating me. He's so good, yeah, he is so good to you. What do you want with the father? You could give us your blessing right now, because we are in love, we are in love, so please. Blessing for being pregnant outside marriage, because you're in love. Papa, don't preach, I'm in trouble deep. Papa, don't preach, I've been losing sleep. 
She is so happy. Man treats her very special until the father would bless them. He is going to marry her. So what, what's the deep trouble and why the loss of sleep? The only reason for someone to do a song like this is to spoil our children, make them immoral and shameless. This is another song by Dr. Alban. It's called, It's My Life. So these are the words. I put all the words in so that you can just see. It's my life, take it or leave it. Set me free, what's that crap up, I knew it all. I got my own life, you got your own life. Live your life, set me free. Mind your own business, you know, mind your business, leave my business. You know everything, Papa knew it all. Very little knowledge is dangerous. Stop bugging me, stop bothering me, stop bugging me, stop forcing me. Stop fighting me, stop yelling it. It's my life, and then it goes, it's my life, it's my, it's my life, and then my life, my worries, it's my life, it's my problems. It keeps going on and on and on. <coughs> it's my life. Do you understand? I live the way I want to live. I make decisions day and night. Show me signs and good examples. Stop telling me how to run your business. Take a trip to east or west. You find that you don't know anything. Every, every, is, every is getting tired of you. Sometimes you have to look and listen. You can even learn from me. Little knowledge is dangerous. It's my life. It's my life, set me free. So you bad, so you lie. What you see is what you get. Listen to people and sort things out. Things I do, I do them no more. Things I say, I say them no more. Changes come once in life. Stop bugging me, stop bothering me. Stop it, keep still going on. <coughs> so do what you want, how you want. As you see it fit, it's my life. Listen to your desires. Is the message out there. Some songs don't have backtrack messages. The song itself is dangerous. How sad it is that these very words are used by our youth today. Then we have others like Rihanna, who named her album R-Rated. If this was a film, it would mean it contained adult material. It would have intense, persistent, hard violence, long, hard language, violence, hard language. Under 17, not allowed. That means it's got drug, <coughs> drug abuse and nudity. If this was a film, imagine this is a song. Parents are concerned <coughs> to take this rating very seriously. Children under 17 are not allowed. If she had a hard time with her partner, why does she want to involve the whole world with her fitna? About this album, some say she's even worse than rock. Rock has always been the devil's music. Many may not be familiar with the name Farooq Bolsara, a Persian by origin died 24th November. He died of AIDS. In one of his songs called Bohemian Rapidsy, Rapidsy. he uses words Bismillah. Why? Before dying, he proclaimed to have AIDS. He was also known for dressing shamelessly. Since this album and another album called I Want to Break Free got an official release in August in Iran, his band has been the biggest band and first Western act to be officially tolerated. This Faluk Borsara later on changed and became known as Freddie Mercury, very popular known by the name of Queen. He couldn't even call himself King. Okay, this is an Indian movie. All right. Bollywood didn't want to be left behind. As early as Amara Parantoni movie, most of our elders would remember. Now this one, I'm just going to go through the English bit, okay? So it says, let me pour some wine on this youth and throw this rose towards a beauty. There is a veil, there is a veil, and behind the veil there is a veiled woman. So he's talking about someone in Niqab. And if this veiled woman is not unveiled by me, then my name is not Akbar, there is a veil. The song goes on. Wherever I look, people will look there as well. They want to see where my gaze stops. Because as a singer, everybody's attention is on him. Oh, princess of my dreams, I am Akbar of Ilahabad. Like we care. I am a poet of the beautiful, a lover of the shy. It's him, yeah? Not me. 
I will not leave your side. I will tear apart every curtain separating us. Don't be afraid of this tyrant world due to grace or pretense. Come, show your face and make this occasion beautiful. Otherwise, by taking your name, I will make some allegations. So basically, this woman is in niqab, and he wants, to, he wants her to unveil her face in front of everybody. <coughs> Otherwise, he's going to accuse her of something really, really bad. It was the biggest blockbuster of 1977. Unfortunately, they are doing a remake. Why? Are they out of ideas? They don't have any more motives? What's their motives? Any subliminal messages? To cause more fitna. This is just one of the old examples. There are many, many more. Then we have people like Eminem. Yeah, I can hear all the laughs. People like it. Role model. He says, okay, I'm going to attempt to drown myself. You can try this at home. You can just be like me. Follow me and do exactly what the song says. Smoke weed, take pills, drop out of school, kill people a drink and jump behind the wheel like it was still legal. I'm dumb enough to walk in a store and steal. This is the picture of the album which carries a parental warning. Can you imagine? This here. This is a song. So, he removed another song called Kill You. I'm not going to go through all of it, because it's, some of it is just sickening, but I'll let it go on. So, as I said, I'm not going to go through it. But basically, he says that uh, when he was small, his mother <laughs> told him that his father was a bad man. But later on, he came to find out that it was not him, it was her. And he says, he's going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to pull this bullet right through you. He starts abusing her. And then, the voice says, I'm going to kill you like a murder weapon. I'm going to conceal you in a closet, mildew sheets, pillows, uh, and film you as well. With me, I've been through hell. So he says, okay. Is this, so he says, is that, is that a subliminal hint? This is all in the song. A blood stain is orange after you wash it three or four times. But it becomes normal again. Then he says, serial killer hiding murder material in a serial box on top of your stern, store, on top of your stereo, because nobody's going to look in the stereo box. Here we go again. We are out of our medicine, his medicine, out of our minds, and we want in yours. Let us in. A question could be asked is who would buy such a rubbish show? This particular album sold 1.79 million copies in the first week of release in the US, earning an entry to the Guinness Book of World Record as the fastest selling solo album ever. Who is he telling all this to? His mom. And what are we told about our parents, especially our moms? Allah says in the Holy Quran, We have enjoined men to respect his parents. His mother bears him in weakness upon weakness, while his weaning takes two years. Thank me as well as your parents. Unto me is the journey. And in another verse, Almighty Allah orders us. Your Lord has decreed that you should worship none except him and that you should show kindness to your parents. If one or both of them attain old age while they are with you, never say to them, Oof, nor scold either of them. Speak to them in a respectful fashion and lower unto them the wing of submission through mercy. And say, My Lord, have mercy on them both as they did care for me when I was little. This is what the Imam read in the Salah. The virtues of respect and service to parents. Service to parents results in increasing risk. If you want to earn more money, treat your parents properly. And longer life as well. A gaze of love and mercy cast at parents is equivalent to an accepted hajj. By rendering service to parents, one obtains the thawab rewards of hajj, umrah, and jihad. Gazing with anger at one's parents is disobedience to parents. Disobedience to parents is among the kabair, major sins. He who is disobedient to parents will be disgraced. The curse of the disgrace risk here is mentioned three times in the hadith. Jannat lies under the feet of your mother. A mother's dua for her children is accepted with swiftness. The best door to Jannah is one's father. Either guide it or destroy it. Abusing parents is among the major sins, even the utterance of a harsh word or word of disrespect. The one who troubles his parents will be punished here on earth in addition to the punishment of the akhirah. A murderer of parents will be among the worst punished in the hereafter. The calamity of disobeying parents will be experienced before death as well as after death. Service to parents is among the noblest acts by Allah Ta'ala. 
Allah curses the one who displeases parents. The pleasure of the parents is the pleasure of Allah and the displeasure of the parents is the displeasure of Allah. Neither the fard nor the nafal ibadat is accepted of a person who is disobedient to his parents. Whoever desires increasing earnings and long life should be kind in obedience to parents. Kindness to parents secures forgiveness for sins. US pop star Bianca Knowles had to postpone her concert in Malaysia. Why? Because Muslims deem stage antics immoral due to her provocative clothing and choreography. Malaysia initially banned Muslims from attending a concert by the US hip hop, uh, also the Black Eyed Peas, which was sponsored by Guinness, one of the brands owned by the world's biggest spirit groups. This is the River Nile. In Egypt, Bianca's show was blasted as an insolent sex party. They don't want to hear her album, I Am, which according to the Bible refers to God. They want to ban, they want a ban on this nudity concert. The singer, who is known to put on an impressive hybrid, hybrid performance dressed in very little during her concert and awards shows, is being referred to as a worshipper of Satan by Christians and Muslims, fundamentals in Egypt. The tour, which also took Bianchi to the United Arab Emirates last week, this is the week when I made it, earned her 53.5 million. Imagine. She's earning so much, why the interest in Muslims? <coughs> Matasu, this one is Matasu is Eminem, this is his name. The mother, the mother sued him for 10 million, 10 million dollars for making that song that she had made about killing her. The Labour government encouraged that, that music should be on the increase for the next generation. More and more young people are referred to me, this is by IGP, with tinnitus or hearing loss as a direct result to exposure to loud music. When Elvis Presley passed away on 16th August, his current single, Way Down, which had been languishing outside the top 40, was sent rocketing to number one post. The sky was the limit of how far Emmy Winehouse could have soared had she overcome her demons? This is what they said. I didn't know who she was until she died. Uh, this is also talking about her. After that, okay, after Michael Jackson's death in June, Thriller set an additional record. It sold more than 100,000 copies, placing it at number, number two at the top pop catalog album chart. So they made money after the guy when he, when he passed away. Apart from dressing and behaving immorally, a lot, lot of singers go a little further to prove a point. We all see that sign. Most of them, singers or not, support the Freemasons and the spread of the evil preachings. So even Disneyland, kids are not safe. This is Bianca dressing up as the Freemason dressing. This is Robbie Williams. This is the sign again. This is Bianca doing the sign again. And that's Salman Khan, everybody knows him. He's also done the same sign, you see? Devil worshiper. This is the album that Michael Jackson was supposed to do before he died. I want to show you something. Look at that. And he did it, he did it with his whole body here. Is this a coincidence? So more signs representing the satanic fingers. We know who he is. He's got the sign. This one again. He's got the sign again. So it's not just wrestling. Obama, Obama didn't want to be left behind. He did two of them, see? This guy as well, why should he be left out? He did as well. His wife, yes, there is the sign. And then even the USBs, they made it the same. This is Rihanna doing it with the whole body. It says, keep music evil. How can we forget Spidey, huh? <laughs> Spider-Man, look at the sign. He could have removed this web whichever way he wanted. Let me go back to that. See this web? He could have removed this web however way he wanted, but why make that sign? Why make that sign? Now every child that sees this decides they want to make the same sign, following the signs of the devil. Okay, some, this is another one. To a layman, this may be great or fantastic. Someone says, wow, it's fantastic. 
But according to the Illuminatis, this means the 666. Lady Gaga, I didn't want to put her, but I had to put her. Each and every one of them. Even Michael Jackson, you're small. Madonna. And Tony Blair. Did it once, twice, three times. There's a reason why they do it. And this guy, he quit. He did it with two of them. Look. See? He's trying to show you. Can't see? Look, I'm doing it with two hands. Other signs include that one. This is to represent the one eye. They are so devoted to the evil master Satan that they will even spread the evil signs. See? He's got two of them again. Why can't we be more devoted to our good master? The best master, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> then we have hidden messages where the singer says certain words when reversed you get a different message. How do they put these messages on the tracks? How does the message affect if you don't know that they are there? Why were these messages inserted initially? So let's have a look at the brain. Okay? This is the left eye. This is the right eye. This is from the top. This is the left side of the brain. This is where all the information enters and evaluated according to one's beliefs, education, and faith. Here in between is a, is a veil dividing the two brains. And then this, if it's accepted, it is sent to this side of the brain. Otherwise, it is rejected altogether. However, when the left hemisphere picks up the message, it, sometime, it is sometimes that it cannot understand. The message sounds like, sounds like garble sometimes. The left hemis hemisphere gets confused and does not know what to do with it. It therefore lets it pass through the screen, remember the middle screen, into the right side where the information is all accepted. The brain therefore accepts it as a fact. It will take its place there and it will emerge sometimes in the future. This is how the messages are inserted into our brains. This part here, this is a very special part, known as the little brain. This is the subconscious memory, this, which is a very powerful tool that Allah has given to the human beings. It is called the cerebrum. Uh, it is known, it is, for, it is also from here that all the information is sent to the muscles, causing them to move. The brain works like a camera. If you give it a negative image, it will give you a positive message. So if you push through the brain a negative and backward sentence, then it will read it forward. For example, the phrase, another one bites the dust, will be understood by the brain as it is fun to smoke marijuana. Imagine. Another example, okay, this is one, I need a volunteer. I hope this one works this time. I need a volunteer, quick, 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 someone, a volunteer. Someone who's brave enough, come on, quick. Quickly, you're wasting time. Someone, stand up. Nobody? Somebody stand up? Somebody? Okay, yes, please. Go on, go on. Yes, go on. Just stand in front, okay? And yeah, that's it. No, 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 no. You won't be able to see the screen. All right. This is one. So what I want you to do is I want you to read the colors, not the words, as quickly as you can. Ready? That's red. No, apart from that one. Ready? Just, just color, yeah? Mm, yes, when they come on. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Okay, so you read the colors as fast as you can. Not the words. Go. Uh, green, blue, red, black. Uh, green, blue, blue, uh, <laughs> black. Uh, green, yellow, red. He tried, blue, he tried it. Okay, it's okay, red, no problem. Have a seat, have a seat. Jazakallah khairan. Right. I wasn't trying to make a fool of you. So, notice how the right side of the brain tries to read the letters, but the left side insists on reading the words. It doesn't mean your brain has made a mistake. It takes the info in and does its best, okay? Wearing headphones for just, for just 60, 60 minutes, okay? Will increase the bacteria in your ear 700 times. And nowadays, this has become fashion. Everybody wants to wear one of these. So you wait it for one hour, you're going to have 700 times bacteria in your ear. I figured the only thing to do was to swipe the kids. I still think it is the only thing to do. By saying that, I'm not talking about kidnapping. I'm just talking about changing their value systems. 
One may wonder, how is it possible for someone to change all the value system of someone else? To change everything that a person grew up believing in, values that were instilled in them throughout their lifetime. So this is one of the oldest machines that they used to use for backtracks, one of the oldest, oldest ways of playing thing. Let's go back, hold on. Okay. With this one, it was very easy to do the backtracking. So now we, we move to something normal. This is my own cassette, by the way. So what you do is, I'll just quickly go through it. You open, open the screws. These cassettes are very easy to do. So they've got screws all wrong. Open the screws and remove the reel. And see, I, what I've done is I put, made sure that it's at the end so that it's easy to, for it to go back. Then, you take the reels and turn them upside down from the way that you remove them. And you put them back in, close the screws. There you have it. Let's go back again. And when you play it, you get the backtrack messages. The compact disc made finding backward messages difficult, causing interest in backmasking to decline. <coughs> but the evil planners don't quit, so they made, they made mono reversing machine. Now this was for a Walkman. The last thing about it, it's got a reversing switch, it's got a reverse switch that makes you play backwards. They have softwares available. Why? For lectures, for training manuals, everything. They have other softwares teaching you how to put sublim sublim subliminal messages. And even easier, at the comfort of your home, you could use this, Audacity. So, this is how you do it. You download it, it's free. You record whatever you need to record. Then you go to, you go to, you highlight it. Highlight it and go into the effects. It's got a place where it says reverse switch. Select reverse, and there it goes. It plays a back, a back track message for you. Another easy thing that you could do is use a sound recorder. Even simpler is a sound recorder found in Windows under Entertainment, which also gives you the option to record your voice in reverse. Example of backmasking. Backmasking has also been used to record statements perhaps too critical. So in the starting, whenever they wanted to swear, they would use backmasking because it was just, it was not allowed. Another example of it is this word here. The word is natas, natas, natas. But backwards, it is Satan, Satan, Satan. In a song by The Simpsons, People say cartoons don't have effects, huh? The word forward, ah, yen, whatever, which sounds like a foreign language, but reversed, you hear, join the Navy, very clearly. It has been called the discovery of the seventh sense. The research into the phenomenon has been described as being of novel caliber. It has been featured in numerous publications around the world, and the United States became a household name in the late 90s. It is called reverse speech. <coughs> Who said it? The backward playing of records was advised by a train, as training for magicians by occultist Alistair Crowley, who suggested in his book. He said, train himself to think backwards by external means. Uh, let him listen to phonograph records reverse. Let him practice speaking backwards. <coughs> His own parents regarded him as a beast. See, even Google is written backwards. Who can read this quickly? Who can read? Let him learn to read backwards. Who can read it? All of us get 2,000. Everybody's thinking about money. Inputs from at each day. So he says, let him learn to write backwards. This is an album by Prince. It's called 1999. When we turn it round, it says 666 evil. So they write on purpose, they write on purpose. Okay, I know you all know this one. It's gonna load, let it load. And plays. It doesn't want to play. I think Shai is dead. Anyway, he moves backwards. Don't go and try this. 
Let him learn to walk backwards. Although Michael Jackson was not the first to invent the moonwalk, he sure made it popular. Rain. This is by the Beatles. These are all the advices of Alistair Crowley. Okay? Singer John Lennon and producer George, whatever, they... I'm just going to ignore this one. They started making albums, by the way. And then Lennon stated, while under the influence of marijuana, he accidentally played the tapes of Rain in reverse and enjoyed the sound. The following day, he shared the results with the other Beatles. The effect was the first guitar solo for Tomorrow Never Known. Lennon liked the effects and kept it. Rain was the first song to feature a back masked message. <coughs> okay, no, no, let it go back, let it go back. Sorry. I want you to listen to this. So, the song played forward sounds like this. And Allah forgive me. Now, the song does not make sense at all. But listen to this. This is the backtrack message. The music is reversible. But time. Turn back. Turn back. Turn back. Turn back. Turn back. So, what do you think? A lot of people use use subliminal messages, okay? Obama as well. I want you to listen to this, okay? By the way, someone stole my Yes, we can. 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 Yes, Okay. Again. Obama wanted, he could have said, yes, I can. I tried it myself. If you say, yes, I can, and turn it backwards, you get something else, completely something else. But when you say, yes, we can, when you turn it backwards, it actually means, thank you, Satan. And Obama repeated this seven times. He made everybody else repeat it seven times. So they, they are very clever when they do these things. It's not out of coincidence. Astaghfirullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and guide us. There are those who will tell you, it's, it's all some great cosmic coincidence. These are the same people who think they came from monkeys and that there was a big bang. The name of the singer, so I put just a few of them. The singer, the album, the song forward and the song backward. Britney Spears, she says, baby, one more time. And then the song forward is, when I'm not with you, I lose my mind, give me a sign. Backward says, sleep with me, I'm not too young. This one stares to heaven, he says, your stairway lies on the whispering wind. And then he says, because he used to live with Satan. This one, the black dog. Some of them are it's so sick, I can't even read them. Anyway, keep going. Uh, this one says, I never lose. I never lose. To me, it's, it's no mystery. And then he says, Satan holds the key to the lock. This one used to worship the devil. <laughs> beat it of Michael Jackson. He said, it's, uh, it's fair, so beat it. And says, he believes in the devil that was in him. This is the one of Freddie Mercury that says another one bites the dust, another one bites the dust. When it's turned backward, it says it is fun to smoke marijuana. Madonna, she says, justify my love, she longs for Satan. And she did another one called Hunger. Throughout the whole song, the words you hear is suicide, suicide, suicide. 
Rihanna did disturb you. She said Satan leaves with her and evil leaves with her. And the last one that we did, the one that you could not hear what the words were, in, uh, played forward, played backwards, says music is reversible but time is not turned back. These are just some of the songs containing backtrack messages or subliminal messages. There are many more. Then we come to the musical instruments. Mazai is a plural of mizaf. Refers to musical instruments. Drums, daf, everything comes under it. Sheikh Abdullah bin, uh, bin Baz rahimullah, was asked about listening to music and songs. Is it haram? I only listen it for pleasure. What about playing the Rababa, kind of guitar on all songs, for all songs? What about using drums in weddings? He replied, listening to music is haram and a sin. It is a matter that leads to weakening the heart and abandoning the dhikr of Allah and the prayer. The scholar said about the ayah, and of mankind, he who purchased idol talks, the idol talks mean singing. Abdullah bin Masood the great companion of the Prophet used to swear by Allah that it is singing. If singing was accompanied by the Rababa, the Oud or Arabic guitar, the fiddles, and the drums, he said, it is even more haram. Who was Abdullah bin Masood the greatest achievement of life in the hereafter. He was the sixth person to embrace Islam. He was taught by the master himself, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of the best reciters of the Holy Quran, given authorization to teach the Quran, extremely knowledgeable in matters of Sharia, accepted by all, approved by the leader of the Anbiya, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everybody say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because people criticize him. Any singing with instrument is haram, and the scholars are unanimous on this. Therefore, Muslims must be aware of it. The Prophet ﷺ said, From among my nation there will be those who will render as lawful adultery, silk for men, al khamar alcohol, and musical instruments. Where words fail, music speaks. Musical instruments have a way of captivating the heart and becoming addictive. Everybody knows who he is? And everybody knows who he is as well. Yeah. They both. I found this one here on eBay by mistake. I was looking for something else and I found something else. This guy, everybody knows him. Many Muslims today render music as permissible. This is due to their ignorance and or outright defiance of the, of the faith. This guy here, Yusuf Islam. He did one album. I, thought, I don't know what the name is, but he did one album. and. Inside that album, they have, not, they have left no instrument at all. And even had the chick actually say, he says, I dedicate this to the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu He used every single instrument you could think of. Some will even go further and introduce their innocent children to music and instruments. And find it too strenuous for our children to read the Holy Quran. Hadrat Abu Hurair narrates that Rasulullah said, the bell is among the musical instruments of shaitan. Hazrat Abu Hurairah narrated that Rasulullah said, the malaika do not associate with a group in which there is a dog or a bell. Hazrat Aisha Radlana narrated, very Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instructed that all the bells, all the bells be cut off the necks of the camels on the day of Badr. The tinkling and jingling of the bells, the jingling of the bells, are also associated with shaitanic music. Hence, the prohibition. A very interesting incident. Interesting incident. It was narrated that Buraida said the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went out on his one, of, one of his military campaigns. When he came back, a black slave woman came and said, O oh Messenger of Allah, I vow that if Allah brought you back safe and sound, I would beat the duff before you and sing. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if you vow that, then do it. Otherwise, do not do it. So she started to beat the duff. And Abu Bakr came while she was still doing so. Then Ali came while she was still beating the duff. Then Uthman came while she was beating the duff. Then Omar came and she threw the duff beneath her and she sat on it. The Messenger of Allah said, The shaitan is afraid of you, O Omar. I was sitting 
and she was beating the dove. Then Abu Bakr came when she was beating the dove. Then Ali came and she was still beating the dove. Then Uthman came and she was beating the dove. But when you came, O Omar, she put the dove down. Now, a question I could ask, because a lot of people say, oh well, the Prophet allowed it. If, if, it was, if it was allowed, the Prophet could have told her here and said, okay, don't worry about Omar, continue. But he was happy. Then we have the beatbox. Beatbox is a form of vocal. You do this with your hand and your mouth. I'm sure everybody knows how to do it. So where did it come from? Started in India. The Chinese also have the same thing. The Africans used the, the bodies to, to do make, make the same sound. They made sounds using the mouths of loud breathing in and out, which is done in beatboxing today. Ah, uh, they all know him? <laughs> Prophet ﷺ said, whoever imitates the people is one of them. Doesn't he look like one? Okay. And the Prophet ﷺ told us that the group of this ummah would follow the enemies of Allah in some of their rituals and customs. As it, as it says in the hadith of Abu Sayyid al-Khudri who narrated the, from the Prophet ﷺ, you will certainly follow the ways of those who came before you, span by span, cubit by cubit, until if they were to enter a lizard hole, you would follow them. We said, O Messenger of Allah, do you mean the Jews and the Christian? He said, who else? Let's not burn the name of Allah with all the filth of music and TV. Either we remove the haram from our houses or remove the name of Allah from them. But don't make a mockery of Islam. Allah the Most High says, O wives of the Prophet, you are not like other women. If you are God-fearing, so do not be soft in speech, lest in whose heart, in whose heart is disease, should be moved with desire. Some people argue this was only for the wives of the Prophet Let us just stop and think about it for them. If the most purest women were given such an advice about what about our women folk of today, how much more should they do? How about listening? How about women listening to men? Alhamdulillah, Allah has made Islam very beautiful and a complete way of life. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was also, very, also wary of this fact when he said, said to the companion Bara bin Malik, O Bara, let not the women hear your voice. It is also unlawful for women to listen to the voice of non mahram men with lust and desire. One of the great Western thinkers said, the voice is one of the quickest ways that a woman falls in love with a man. This is the reason why many women adore singers. What proof do those who don't forbid music provide? And their answers. Frequently asked questions, okay? So people say, Aisha Radlana narrated, the Messenger of Allah came to my house while two girls were singing beside me the songs of Bu'at. A story about the pre-Islamic war between the two tribes of Ansar and Khazraj and the Aus. The Prophet ﷺ laid down and turned his face to the other side. Then Abu Bakr came and spoke to me harshly, saying, Musical instrument, instruments of Satan near the Prophet. ﷺ. Thereupon Allah's Messenger ﷺ turned his face towards him and said, Leave them. When Abu Bakr became inattentive, I signaled to those girls to go out and they left. So a lot of people use this hadith. To say, look, it's allowed. So, the answers. Firstly, these girls were not professionals. <coughs> they were young girls under the age of puberty singing to a young woman. They didn't have any instruments. They were singing about war. <coughs> they were not dancing. Sayyidina Abu Bakr Radlan called it musical instrument of the devil. If it was okay, why were they signaled to go? Ibn al-Jawzi, rahimullah, said Aisha Radhiana was young at that time. Nothing was transmitted from her after she reached the age of puberty except condemnation of singing. Her brother's son, Al-Qasim bin Muhammad, condemned singing and said, 
that it was not allowed to listen to it and he took his knowledge from her bibi aisha radhiyallahu anha another hadith used is about the abyssinians playing in the mosque of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as evidence that singing and dancing are allowed according to bukhari al hafiz ibn hajar rahimullah said whoever speaks about something which is not his profession will come up with weird ideas such as this these one cannot use this these hadith to support the singing and dancing was allowed these two incidents happened once each and was never repeated again some people even have the nerve to suggest that the sahaba that have been listened to singing and that they saw nothing wrong with it al fauzan is a great scholar in makka he said we demand them to show us sahi is not going back to this sahaba and have been proving what they attribute to them they said then he said imam muslim mentioned in his introduction to the sahih that abdullah ibn mubarak said the isnad is part of religion were it not for isnad whoever wanted could say whatever he wanted to some of them said that the ahadith which forbid music are full of faults no hadith was free of being criticized by some of the scholars ibn baz rahimullah said the hadith the ahadith which were narrated concerning music being haram are not full of faults as has been claimed some of them are in sahih al-bukhari which is the soundest book after the book of allah and some of them are hasan and some are daif but because there are so many with different isnads they constitute definite proof that singing and musical instruments are haram some of them said that the scholars who forbid singing because it was mentioned alongside gathering in which alcohol is drunk where people stay up late at night for evil purposes ashokani said the response to this is that mentioning these things in conjunction does not only mean that what is haram is joined together in this manner ha otherwise this would mean that zina as mentioned in the ahadith is not haram unless it is accompanied by alcohol or the use of musical instrument some of them said that idle talk does not refer to singing al qurtubi said this the view that that it means singing is the best that has been said concerning this ayah and ibn masud radhiyallahu swore three times by allah besides whom there is no other god that it 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 does refer to singing bukhari radhiyallahu relates that he heard allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam say whatever i prohibit you from doing refrain from it whatever i command you to do it do of it what you are able those who came before you only perished on account of their excessive questioning and their disagreeing with their prophets let the one who is seeking this knowledge know that the tafsir of the sahabi who was with, who witnessed the revelation is a hadith with isnad their explanation of tafsir was the best and should be readily accepted because it was revealed among them this is the companions of the prophet sallam they were the most knowledgeable among the umma of what allah meant in his book they were the first people to be addressed by it they heard the tafsir from the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in word and in deed some of them said that singing is a form of worship if the intention is to help one to obey allah ibn qayyum rahimullah said how strange what type of faith light insight guidance and the and knowledge can be gained from listening to tuneful verses and music in which most of what is said is haram and deserves the wrath and the punishment of allah and his messenger does that mean that we can't entertain ourselves anymore on the contrary we have been encouraged to we have been encouraged to entertain ourselves however entertain yourselves with halal as long as we keep within the sharia we are safe some form of entertainment so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said learn horse riding and archery don't just learn it master it swimming was also encouraged jazakallah
playing with one's pauses. He continues. So he says, How can anyone who has the least amount of insight and faith in his heart draw near to Allah and increase his faith by enjoying something which is hated by him? And he detests the one who says it and the one who accepts it. Some say that music and musical instruments have the effect of softening people's heart and creating gentle feelings. This is not true because it provokes physical desires and whims. If it really did what they say, it, it would have softened the hearts of the musicians and made their attitude and behavior better. But most of them, as we know, are astray and behave very badly. <coughs> we should not be deceived by the fame of, of a person in our own time. This summary will make it clear about the view that music is permissible as no firm basis. There are no two views on this matter. What is haram is haram. <coughs> Ikrama said, it was narrated from Ibn Abbas that al-Samud, al-Samud, translated here is wasting your, pre your precious time, your lifetime in pastime and amusement, meaning that it is sinking. In dialects of Himalayas, it keeps on going on and explains everything. I'm just going to play the next one. Okay. Play this one. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, Allah says, Do you then wonder at the recitation of this Quran, of the Quran and you laugh at it and weep not, wasting your precious lifetime and pastime and amusement? Ibn Kathir said, Allah says, Wasting your precious lifetime in pastime and amusement, thinking, Sufi Nathori said, narrating from his father, Ibn Abbas saying that this this is Yemeni dialect. Ismadlana means Ghandana, sing to us. This was also the view of Ikrima. Sheikh al Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah said, the view of the four Imams is that all kinds of musical instruments are haram. None of the followers of the Imam mentioned any dispute concerning this matter. But Music Albani said, the four madhabs are agreed that all musical instruments are haram. So what did the four Imams say? <coughs> Imam Abu Hanifa said, singing is one of the biggest sins that one must leave immediately. Imam Ahmed, it sprouts hypocrisy in the heart and I do not like it. Imam Malik, when asked about those who said singing is permissible, said no one would say that except a fasik. It is, on, it is only the sinful people who do that. Scholars say that this is also the view of the people of Medina. <coughs> Imam Shafi, he said, the person is a fasik and his testimony is not accepted. <coughs> May Allah be pleased with all of them. Adverts promoting, promoting music. So nowadays you get all the adverts, I'm sorry if it's not clear. You get lots of, lots of adverts. Music, 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 music. They're trying to put inside your head something, try and tell you something. You can't even fly without seeing a music sign. You can't buy a computer without seeing a music sign. Car as well. It's a soul. KitKat, free music download. Saying of the scholars regarding music and singing. Imam Ibn Taymiyyah said, listening to music and sip from fun are among what strengthens the satanic ways the most. This is exactly what the disbelievers used to do. Allah said, and their prayer at the house of Allah was nothing but mukkah and tasdir. Ibn Abbas, Ibn Umar and others said that tasdir is clapping of the hands and then mukkah is whistling. This was the mushrikin way of worship. The Prophet and his companions worshipped Allah according to his order in their prayer reading the Quran and Dhikr. 
It never occurred that the Prophet ﷺ and his companions gathered to listen to singing that is accompanied by clapping or using drums. Al Qasim said, Singing is part of falsehood. Al Hassan said, If there is a music involved in din invitation, Walima, do not accept the invitation. Okay, this is a very, very interesting, okay? So I'm going to let it play. Now, I'm going to go back to the... I want to show you something. This was actually a grave of a sinner. Now, in Hadith, we are told about, we are told about people who don't pray Salah that they're going to be visited by the snakes. But this singer, he was an Arabic singer, an Arab singer, he once made dua, and it's very, very dangerous when you make dua. He made dua on the stage, and he said that he wanted to die as a shaheed of the stage. And Allah made it said that he died while he was singing. His, his, uh, his dog got accepted. He died on the stage. And this was his grave, of which you can actually see the snakes coming out. When Allah wants to show you something, He'll show you. You see the big, big snakes coming out of the grave. They said this guy has to get bitten almost every single day. Let's save ourselves from this evil before we are visited with punishments in this world and the very next. As I said, if Allah wants to show you a sign, Allah shows you the sign. They know how to get to us. Let's not get tempted. Ibn Taymiyyah also said regarding the person whose habit is to listen to music. State of emotions become less passionate when one hears the Quran. On the contrary, when one listens to the instrument of the devil, they start dancing a lot. Dislikes listening to the Quran and does not find beauty in it while reciting it. No taste for the Quran and feels no love, no love for it or pleasure when it is read. If the prayer is established, he either prays while sitting down or performs it as fast as a rooster picks up seeds. So he prays so fast. He finds pleasure, finds pleasure if he listens to Mukha and Tasliya. Hadrat Abu Musa al-Ashari Radlan narrated that Rasulullah said, whoever listens to the sound of singing, he will not be given the permission to listen to the beautiful voices of the Ruhaniin in Jannah. When it was asked, who are the Ruhaniin? Rasulullah said, the Qaris of Jannah.
Whoever wants to listen to the beautiful songs of Jannah, abandon this evil now and you will hear the most beautiful words of the Holy Quran recited by Ka'ab bin Malik, who was known as the Kari of the Ummah. Then, by Nabi Dawood, who used to read the Zabur, and the animals and the birds would come and listen to his beautiful voice. Then, from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And finally, from the Master himself, from Allah. Jazakumullah khairan, that is the end.